Cheers guys, first beer of the day. We've got a Mexican cerveza on. So, happy Umbra Wednesday. Oh, hard day at work today. So, I didn't think I had much to talk about actually today, but as it happens, there's quite a few things that have popped up. So first, we're going to take a look at um, the wine that I've bottled. Now I did some uh, white grape wine from uh, Morrison's Grape Juice. Now the stuff fermented out, we've bottled it up. Um, it's come out exactly at 12%, crystal clear. Now I did actually carbonate it. But it didn't really take well to it, you know. I put it under pressure in one of my kegs because I didn't have any uh, any beers in there. I was still brewing them. Um, but yeah, I wasn't too keen, so I've knocked all the CO2 back out of it, and we've decided just to bottle it as normal. So uh, we've got the white wine from Grape Juice there, and it was such a commanding success we decided that we'd uh, do another batch so this is batch number two on the go um and what else have we got to talk about hello dominic hello. what are you doing mate uh, where is the talk to? i'm just doing a homebrew wednesday video on here Can you see it yeah. go and sit down then while i finish go and sit on the chair i'll be finished in a minute mate okay, okay. So, um, where were we? Yeah, now I watched um, a video recently by Big CQ, a one on YouTube, and this guy made some Applejack out of uh, cider, um, which is sort of like, sort of, uh, it's distillation by freezing. Now I've done a couple of batches of cider, and I did a batch of uh, cider from Tesco's apple juice. Now it just didn't taste right to me. I don't know whether something went wrong. I used washed yeast in it. Um, anyway, I think it was sort of either on the thin side <clears throat> or the vinegary side. It didn't taste like it had been infected, but it was just a little off. Uh, so I decided, well, I don't think it's going to be something that's going to, you know, entice people to drink it. You know, the other batch that I made come out at over 9% and it tastes fine, it's just really strong. So I'm trying to emulate that taste, but minus the uh, strength. Obviously this batch didn't work, so I've decided to use Secu's method and um, turn it into Applejack. Now this is what we have remaining. There's probably nine, eight to nine litres in there. Uh, and I've taken nine litres already and I've frozen them down. And then I did the bucket trick, put them upside down in a fermenter and drained it off. And I ended up with this, three litres of liquid. I'm not sure whether I let it drain and defrost too much. So, hey, hold on. So what I'm going to do... I've frozen it again, so we're going to do, repeat the process. I can already see there's liquid in the bottom there, so I'm assuming, you know, because it's solid, it's frozen solid. So I'm assuming that that's the alcohol there. So we're going to do that with this, and if this works out nice, we're going to do it with the rest of the batch too. And uh, you don't mind it if it's slightly vinegary, if you've got to do it full. You know, if you're doing it in shots, it's when you're drinking full pints that you're not too keen on it. So, yeah, that's where we are this week's Homebrew Wednesday. I've got two kegs of Cooper's Lager uh, carbonating in the freezers. And in a couple of minutes, mate, and we're drinking a Mexican cerveza that I finally got on tap. In fact, it's nearly half empty. The barrel's nearly half empty. But this is nicely carbonated. It's not crystal clear. But I tend... The cerveza... The Australian pale ale, you know, from Coopers, they don't really, they don't want to clear up as fast as other lagers such as the Coopers 
or other ales like uh, the, the dark ale for instance cleared quite quite quickly but you know it's carbonated on the nitrogen co2 blend so i'm happy to stick with that now with that i was going to change onto a co2 barrel to carbonate and then use the nitrogen to push the beer through the pumps but I'm happy, it just takes an extra week to carb. That's fine, I don't mind. As long as I get the beer eventually. So that's where we are guys. Um, brewing coming up. Well, money's a bit tight at the minute so I'm just trying to get some cash together to put like a little order in. I want to do some more beer kits. I want to do the Cooper's Dark Ale again. And I'm going to try to do some partial mash as well and um, you know steep some grains and try and tart up a kit or maybe even some hop incorporating some hops in there as well so that's what's in the pipeline but who knows i don't know if we'll be there this time next wednesday i doubt it but we're moving in that direction so we're uh, 17 guys cheers um happy on brew wednesday and i'll see you next time